Hey guys, this is Iwo the Gamer, the best Pokemon trainer in the Tennessee area, and I'm going to show you today how to clean your Pokemon cards to get them graded or just for collection value. Let's go. And to start, you're going to need three things. One, the Pokemon card you're trying to clean, two, some water, and three, Q-tips. Now, it don't matter what type of water, you can get a bottle of water, a cup of water, and the Q-tip, and we're going to go ahead and get into it. Okay, so, as you see, these are the Pokemon cards I want to try to clean today, um, with the, let me try and see if you guys can see, with the Jungle Set Pidgey, if I can get it nice and zoomed in, hopefully. Uh, if it focuses, um, man, I have like a speck of dirt right here in this corner. I don't know if you guys can really tell or see that. I don't know if it's going to focus. Uh, focus, yeah, right there. That speck of dirt. I'm going to try to get that cleaned off. And hopefully, I can get this, the granddaddy of them all, cleaned off as well with these uh, ideas and techniques. I think these cards are definitely good value, gradable cards. The only thing wrong with this card is it has a little bit of whiting at the bottom right here. But besides that, I think it's still good cards. I think these are great cards, nevertheless. Let's try to get them cleaned. So reminder, if you enjoy the video and you learn something, please go ahead and give me a, a like on the video, follow, and uh, comment what you like about the video. If you like the cards or whatever. So what I'm going to do with the water, I'm going to just open it up and just put a little bit in the, uh, the tap, the top of the bottle. Just because we don't need a lot of water, uh, it doesn't take that much water to clean the cards. Um, so, and it teaches good control, especially, um, helps me focus knowing that, uh, I don't need a lot of water to damage these cards, especially if I want to get them sent off to PSA or other good graded card companies. So, what I'm going to do is take one of these Q-tips and I'm just going to dab it into the water. So, if I can just get this into the camera. I'm gonna just show you guys real gently, just dab like that. You just want to get a nice, um, nice damp, not not soaking wet. Um, that might be too wet actually. I'm just gonna just uh, get most of that water off. Okay, so now I'm gonna get this card. What I'm gonna do is just gently stroke, try to get that off there see look it's already gone <laughs> amazing all right i'm just gonna get that little drag it off yeah already gone that's 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 pretty neat yeah so i think a lot of people they try to you know blow dry their cards um they do a lot of silly stuff but this is real simple because q-tips are soft enough where you can just brush and clean you can do it all around your card to make sure there's no dust or extra stuff out that's what this is honestly what i do when i uh take my cards off the sleeves um if i can let them breathe or whatever <laughs> i just uh give them a good dust um so that's the pidgey out one now it's for the granddaddy um because i'm not sure if i can get this stain out get this uh marking out so i bought it um but like I said, I bought it thinking that I can, you know, clean it up and try to get it graded uh, in good condition. But, uh, so yeah, hopefully this will work on camera. And if not, it's just a big fail. <laughs> Got the card, and this is what's on this end. And this is the right there. Hopefully we can try, we're going to try to get that off on the yellow first. So... What I'm gonna do. This is the wet end. Okay. All right. So let's see if this works. Just gonna wanna gently brush that. Wow! It's coming out beautiful. That should took like a bore before and after. What? Wait. Let me. <laughs> I may have to take a before and after. Hold on. Give me a second. 
back to the card. So what you want to do is just, you know, brush um, very lightly, but still have some elbow grease on them, you know? I'm trying to get that yellow so you guys can see it. And it's already coming off. That's pretty crazy. I find that amazing. Slowly but surely. It's also coming off. Slowly but surely. Now, to get the whole card. That's this. And voila. That line is gone. I was very, very, very satisfied with the result of this card. Um, didn't think it was going to work. I thought it was going to be one of those videos where uh, it was like my luck where, oh my gosh, uh, <laughs> it just didn't happen. But uh, yeah, now I got this nice looking card with that black line at the bottom going. And I did this with a dark Charizard card and the top was just so dirty, man. I'm going to post a picture of it right now. Uh, future will make sure you post that uh, picture so people can see it. But yeah, um, definitely a um, great way to take care of your cards. Um, the Q-tips do not mess up your card. Um, and the best thing is you do not put too much water on your Q-tip. Well, that's it for me. I'm uh, I will the Gamer, the best Pokemon trainer in the Tennessee area. If you enjoyed the video, man, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to try to post more videos, uh, more how-tos, and also uh, Let's Plays. I'm currently doing Pokemon Silver Let's Play. I'm finishing Pokemon Moon Emerald on Twitch.tv backslash I will the Gamer. Um, but yeah, give me some suggestions of what you would like to see, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.